So you are thinking about moving to the North Dallas, North Fort Worth area, but you're not quite sure what city is the right one for you. Well, in this video, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of the city of Flower Mound, Texas. Flower Mound, Texas is located nicely, centrally north of Dallas and Fort Worth, which I will show you that on the map here in just a second. I'm Jennifer Fowler and along with my husband, we run Fowler Realty Team here in the North Texas area. We have people just like you reaching out to us all the time looking to make a move here. We absolutely love that. So if that's you and you're looking to move in nine days or nine months, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. All the info is in the description below. Make sure you like, subscribe, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know everything there is to know about living in the great state of Texas, specifically North Texas. Okay, so even though I think Flower Mound is a great city to live in, there are some pros, of course, and there are some cons as well. So let's go over some of that. But first, let's head over to the map just so you can get an idea of where Flower Mound is located. So here is Flower Mound on the map. Let's zoom out just a little bit so you can see where it is in comparison to Dallas and Fort Worth. So you've got Dallas here to the south, Fort Worth to the south as well. And then Flower Mound is right up here. It is a, maybe 20 minutes to the airport. I'm not very far to the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport, maybe 30 minutes or so to Love Field, which is Southwest Airlines. And then about depending on traffic, give me about 35 minutes to downtown Fort Worth. So if you're commuting to work in any of these areas over here, living in Flower Mound is a great, great option because it's just nicely centrally located in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Okay, so let's go over some of the great things, some of the things I love about the city of Flower Mound. Number one is going to be its location. I think it is in one of the best locations of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. And the reason why I think that, well, there's a couple of reasons. The further away you get from Dallas and Fort Worth, the more affordable it can be to live. I do think Flower Mound though is a little bit higher than some cities and we'll talk about that. But I do like that it's not super close to Dallas and Fort Worth, but yet it's extremely convenient because you have major highways that can get you there really within a matter of minutes. So that's a pro to me. That's something I do like about Flower Mound. And I also like that it's not, you know, just due north of Dallas or due north of Fort Worth. It's right there in the middle. And if you've ever heard of cities like Salina and Prosper and Frisco that are right north of Dallas, then you're going to see why there's a lot of pros to living in Flower Mound because the cost to live in those cities has become crazy. And Flower Mound is a beautiful city. So that is a pro to me is its location. According to websites like niche.com, greatschools.org, Flower Mound has some great schools, both private and public. They are highly rated schools. You can look that up on your own if that's something that's really important to you. Flower Mound is known for its highly rated school district as well. So according to Neighborhood Scout and CrimeGrade.org, Flower Mound is one of the safest cities to live in in the North Texas area. It has a crime rate that is 65% lower than the national average. It's also considered safer than 84% of other cities across America. Those sound like very good statistics to me. So another thing I love about Flower Mound is there are numerous parks, trails, and recreational activities. There are three lakes that are not far at all from Flower Mound. So right below Flower Mound, directly below it is Grapevine Lake. Grapevine Lake is a great place for activities. You've got boating, fishing, camping, jet skis. There's Mural Park and Twin Coast Park that both have a lot of trails and parks. There are multiple marinas and it's just a great place for sporting, for family events. So Grapevine Lake is just right below it. Then you also have Louisville Lake. Louisville Lake is also right next to Flower Mound. So very, very close. Louisville Lake is one of the largest lakes in North Texas. And just like Grapevine Lake, you're going to have boating, camping, fishing, water sports, marinas, another great lake. So then about 25 miles north of Flower Mound, you're going to have Lake Ray Roberts. It is also a very big lake, a good sized lake. And once again, boating, fishing, camping, lots of activities. There's also trails, 
uh, there's marina, facilities for picnicking, group events, camping. Um, there's even, you know, horseback riding. So there's a lot to do just within a few miles of the Flower Mound area, just when it comes to the lakes. There's a lot of bike trails around, walking trails as well. So that's just another thing I love about where Flower Mound is located because there's a lot to do. So Flower Mound, even though it's what I consider a little bit newer city, has a population of about 80,000. Even though it's growing, it has maintained a small town feel. There's a strong sense of community in Flower Mound. It is a very family friendly city. Now it doesn't have a regular downtown area like an older city would have, but it has plenty of other places for gathering, for shopping, restaurants. It's very um, centrally located to Target, Walmart, grocery stores, um, easy to commute in and out of Flower Mound as well. And we've already touched on this a little bit, but it does have a very convenient location. It's proximity to Dallas and Fort Worth, which also means proximity to other amenities that you might not be able to find a Flower Mound like a big nightlife or a giant zoo or, you know, things like that. It might not be in Flower Mound, but you're not very far from those places because Dallas is just, Dallas and Fort Worth are just south of Flower Mound. And there's actually some really, the Fort Worth Zoo and the Dallas Zoo are really, really great places. You've also got the Dallas World Aquarium. Um, there's just a lot to do in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, um, but living in Flower Mound, you're not gonna have the high cost of living in, let's say the city of Dallas or cities that are right north of Dallas, like Frisco, Prosper, and Salina. So let's talk about some of the cons of living in Flower Mound. One of the cons would be the cost of living. So the cost of living index for Flower Mound is 119. The cost of living is about 19% higher than the national average. That's not too bad at all, considering places in New York or California, where a lot of our clients are from Washington, certain places in Colorado, even other places in Texas, where the cost of living is a lot more than 19% higher than the average. But Flower Mound is a little bit higher than the national average, and most of that is going to come in the form of housing. So the median home price in Flower Mound is currently $525,000. That is considerably higher higher than the national average. Um, it is a little bit more of an affluent city because of its statistics, because of its cost of living. It, it does give it that reputation and that title. But there are still affordable places to live in Flower Mound, but because the average home price or the median home price is higher, that means if you buy a house that's around 350 or 375,000, it's not going to be as much of a house or maybe as nice of a home, um, however you want to phrase that, as a city maybe a little bit further north where you're going to get a maybe a bigger home or a newer home for the same price that you would get in Flower Mound because the Flower Mound homes are gonna be a little bit higher compared to some cities maybe a little bit more north and a little bit more west of Flower Mound. Same price range, but bigger and newer homes in other cities. There are still affordable homes in Flower Mound. They're just not going to be as affordable as if you were in a city further away from Dallas. Let's talk about traffic. Now, from what I hear, our traffic isn't really that bad. This is what I hear from y'all. Y'all are the ones who are telling me this, that California is bananas. I have been to Atlanta several times and I'm just shocked every time at how many lanes there are on the highway and that they're all full. Like five or six lanes and they're all full. I I just, it blows my mind. Oh, and then New York, don't even talk about that. We have clients that just moved here from New York and yeah, I don't think our traffic compares, but you know, this is where I've always lived. So when I'm stuck in traffic, it's annoying, but I think it's annoying no matter where you live. Um, anyway, so the traffic can get congested because like I said, there are two highways that go on the west side and the east side of Flower Mound. East side takes you to Dallas that is where you're gonna have the most congestion when you're commuting to work or coming home. That can get a little dicey. And then of course, just even in and around the city, you know, it's population is 80,000, but it is growing because it is such a highly rated city. It's growing, doesn't have any college towns, colleges. Maybe I should have put that on the pros list. I don't know, because I live in a college town and love it. So there aren't, you know, there isn't a major university that's adding to the population. Traffic can get congested um, at certain times of the day, especially 
on the highway. So people might consider this a con of Flower Mound and that would be limited nightlife. There really isn't going to be a lot to do after dark. Of course, you know, you can be in a restaurant. There are plenty of restaurants around, but you're not gonna find the bars and the clubs and the nightlife that Dallas and Fort Worth have to offer. So that could be a pro for you. I'm not sure, it just depends on what kind of city you like to live in. But if you are looking for something to do later at night, you are probably going to have to commute to Dallas or Fort Worth for that. Overall, I think Flower Mound is a great place to live. Of course, there's gonna be pros and cons to any place that you live. Oh, you know what? One thing I forgot to mention on the con, well, I actually think it's a pro and a con. So a pro would be we have all four seasons. People always say in Texas, you don't have four seasons. Texas is a big state, y'all. North Texas is very, very different from even living in Austin, Houston, San Antonio. It's very different. The weather is very different. This summer, 2024, oh my goodness, the, it's been so nice and mild. Um, we've had days that we're not even reaching 90. Um, now, I know that's not gonna last, um, but it has been what I call a typical summer here in North Texas where we do have some really good weeks. And then when August hits, it's 100, 102, 103. 104, 105, maybe 106. It just depends. August gets hot. It gets hot. Our humidity does drop though, but it does get hot here. And when it's hot, it's just hot. We have had two previous years that were just brutal. I don't know where it came from because I have lived here my whole life and never experienced the last two summers that we had. One of them was just beyond hot, never experienced that level of heat ever. And then another one, it just, didn't cool down until mid to late September is when we finally broke a hundred and we had no rain for maybe it was 60 days. I've not experienced that before. What we're experiencing this year to me is normal. Yes, it's hot. Yes, we're going to reach a hundred, but it's not going to be every day in the summer. And then we do have nice, beautiful falls. Winter is only January and February. And then, well, it's cold in December, but I mean, really winter, like January is cold. And then we head into spring and it's just beautiful. So we do have four seasons, but that the con would be that it gets hot here, y'all. It really does. But as long as the humidity starts to level out some, because we're in North Texas, it does, then it's really not all that bad. The evenings, even though they're they're warm, sun kind of goes down a little bit, but yet it's still light outside till nine o'clock at night, which is great. I love that. Pros and cons would be the weather. Yes, we do live where there are tornadoes. I've lived here my entire life. I've never seen one. But I will tell you, we recently had one just north of the city that I live in that was catastrophic. I've never in my life been that close to a tornado like that, ever. We just don't see them like that here. Oklahoma, yes. Um, other places in Texas, yes. But in this area of Flower Mound and Dallas and Fort Worth, we don't see, we just, I've never seen a catastrophic tornado. But we did have one, one or two cities north of where I live that did happen. I do think though their siren system wasn't working properly. We have a really good one here. So tornadoes are a huge, huge concern to you. I can tell you that I've never seen one in my, you know, like I said, my entire life. I've just never, it's never been a problem until this last year. Um, there are other places where I definitely would not live if that's a concern, but this area, I wouldn't, I would not consider it a concern. But at the same time, I grew up here, so that's easy for me to say. So pros and cons of any city that you live in, if you'd like to know more information about Flower Mound or any of the surrounding cities in the North Dallas, Fort Worth area, please reach out to us. We love answering those questions and helping you through the process of moving to this great state of Texas, or even if you're already in Texas and you're just moving a little bit further north, we'd love to help you out. But until then, we will see you on the next one.